Mic check, mic works. I'm just waiting. People don't show up right away. I feel like this one you want to experience from the beginning. I played the demo. I recommend the demo. Although, once you watch me play it, you don't need to play the demo. But uh, enjoyed the demo very much. Interesting, interesting game. Deck builder, obviously my kind of thing. But clearly, they're pulling some kind of swerve here. I'm with it. I'm ready to be swerved. A little bit of bullshit in these games. You got to hunt for every little thing. You got to really think things through. Sometimes it's a lot of work. The demo does hold hold your hand though. Oh, is Moobot back again? I thought he had the wrong password. It's good to see he's back. I think I got the Rona. If I have the Rona, then I'm one of the asymptomatic. Which... I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, right? Because on one hand, the natural immunity seems to be the way to go. Clearly. As most natural solutions are superior. But... Uh, then everybody else is talking about these like long term symptoms. Who the fuck knows, chat? No one. Well, at least not anyone that can do is willing to do anything about it. The long rona, yeah. I don't know I don't know about the, the long rona. There's a new variant, I guess. I it moves fast. It moves almost like a soap opera. All right, chat. How long has it been? I think like a five-minute grace period, right? All right, it's been four minutes. If you can't scramble and begin your viewing experience within five minutes, what use are you? Yeah, Ernomus, I read all that shit. But see, I read all the contrary shit too. That there's just there's a million different voices. They're all saying different things. It's the worst possible way to handle a situation like this, I would suppose. Well, no, I guess not the worst possible, but way down the list. All right, that's it. I like the I like the game that sort of you know gives you a little preview in the beginning, but without all the other bullshit, splash screens and all that nonsense. I'm not sure it'll do it the second time either. I reset my save from the demo. I don't know if it carried over anyway, but I made sure. Okay. That, oh. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Okay, that was anticlimactic, I guess. 
All right. So we have some options down here. We can continue. We got options, credits, and quit. Notice that there is no new game. We get this scratchy effect. What is the, uh, how's the audio mix? Is that horribly loud, that scratchy, staticky thing? Loud game audio. All right. Let's drop that down a little bit because it's loud in my headphones as well. All right, we'll try that. And we'll continue. I'm not going to play this fucking meta narrative right away. Disket. No actual voice. Just this creepy guy with his spinny eyeballs. Kind of uh, synthesizer voicing at us. Play the squirrel card. So it's a pretty interesting dynamic this here game. Oh, Mr. Toast. You're going to have to move a little bit there, bud. You put down... You can play the squirrel for free. But the squirrel, obviously, this on the left here is his attack, and on the right is his health. And the squirrel is useless. He only exists to be sacrificed. So you get these blood drops on your cards, and uh, one blood drop, well, the squirrel will give us one blood drop. And we can play the stoat. Also, it's got this mechanic of, like, you move around the board with wazd. Which is interesting. Doesn't put all the information on the screen because see, like you can't even see these cards till I look at my actual hand. Interesting mechanic. You can't play the wolf because the stoat is only worth one blood as well. So you're useless here. You got to ring the bell. Yeah, he's just telling us what I just told you. He put a tooth on that scale in case that's not obvious to you I don't actually know I guess it's I don't know what the number is it's a very low amount of damage to win and instead of calculating life it's just the scale so if you trade constantly nobody will ever win very also a very interesting way to play the game Right. So every turn, you can come off your deck or you can go for a squirrel. Now, if I play a squirrel, yeah, I'll just get a squirrel on the board because my stoat is going to kill his coyote. Talk shit to me, man. So, yeah, he's going to pass. Pop another squirrel out here. Then you get your wolf. Get him on the board. Ring that bell. Oh, so, yeah, that was the win. What, five? I just had to do five. So then you got this little mini map here. And uh
you know, this is like many of your deck builders, you'll have different options and shit. Poison cards kill. This one's infinite. Uh, you can't kill it. So once it's out on the board, it always takes up a space. You can't get rid of it. But it's a free drop of blood every turn, which I love. So I'm going to take the cat, obviously. Squirrel in a bottle. Excellent. So you got these are your like consumable items. And a pair of pliers. So use you have to use those at some point. And then, then you got terrain that you have to deal with. So he can only play in two slots. I can play in three. I've got a huge advantage here because I'm unopposed. Against this stump. Although I guess another way to look at it is he has more protection than I do. I only have one avenue of attack. And here's the meta chat. The stoat is talking to us. So the stoat is alive. The card is alive. And I assume the way we treat him on the board will reflect things eventually. And I get to see what this guy's going to do. So he's got a wolf cub coming down up against this boulder, which sucks because the wolf cub is a transforming card. And I can't stop it from transforming. So what I want to do is I want to... I think I want to get the cat on the board over here. Although if I put the cat over here, this stump never gets broken. I think I'm okay with that. So let's get the squirrel down. Use the squirrel to eat the cat. Use the cat to put the stoat on the board and get a hit. And that leaves us with the river snapper, which we can play next turn drawing a squirrel and using the cat. The wolf cub will become a full-fledged wolf. He'll be through that tree in a fairly short amount of time, I would say, but still want to get my cat or my uh, river snapper on the board. So this thing's got two turns of life left, which is this, was, this has got three. The stoat will be going up against the bat, which will not kill it because it will go over top of it and hit me. Right, so flying will go over you. Got another wolf. Do you kill? Now you save the wolf for next turn. Because this wolf is going to punch through. And then I want my wolf. Yeah, yeah. That's the way to do that. Right. Then I pull my squirrel. Play the wolf off of the cat and the squirrel. Now... This is game over, sir. Another wolf. Can't play it because I'm out of room. Right. Prevailed. Beautiful. Take another card. So we've just seen the wolf cub. And the sparrow, so oh, which one do I want? I think I think I gotta go wolf cub. Okay. 
So this is an interesting mechanic. You, so some cards have these special abilities in between the the numbers, right? The cat is infinite, and the wolf cub gets more powerful on its second turn. One of these has to die. There is no saying no to this. But whichever one I kill, I can then take that effect and implant it onto another set of cards. So I think having an infinite something else is more valuable than a cat. <laughs> and the stoat wants to be picked. Does an infinite wolf cub? Yeah, an infinite wolf cub makes sense. It also makes sense, I think, to pile up power ups on one card. Maybe not, though. You know what? Let's put it on the stove just for the storyline. What an honor. Oh, look at his eyes. Soul of the cat now lives in the stoat. Okay, I'm happy with that. The totem. So, airborne canines. That means his wolves will fly and... Uh, he's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. So now we know that Scary Man and Stoat are well aware of each other. And Scary Man doesn't care that we have Stoat. So we have the bat coming down. Uh, yeah, it makes sense to get the Stoat out here. So he can counter the bat. Back on the board. Yeah, he's got all flyers this round. So that's four damage, which that's my four versus his one. I gotta take a squirrel so that I can get one of these wolves out. And then that's his board gone, but now I gotta take another squirrel to get this wolf out. Yeah, that's Stoat being powered up. That's huge. That was a good move. One damage away from winning. I know I am, sir. Now I'm two away. Uh, yeah, Wolf Cub, we can just sacrifice the Stoat. And the, re the only reason you do that is because you want to overkill. The more teeth that piles over, you get, you get to keep all the teeth that are overkill. Not bad. I didn't win these my first time through, by the way. I played the demo, by the way. For those of you who just got here, you can play the demo of this game for free, obviously. And uh, I didn't win when I played that. But I've learned already. So, I don't remember these symbols. It really doesn't tell you much sometimes. The bullfrog. So this means it can block the flyers. We know about the wolf. And the grizzly is three blood. I would have to basically save up a turn. But later on, there is a play for higher blood. I don't know what this little thing is. But these games are won and lost on five hits. And this guy does four. I think I'll take him. Campfire or cave painting? 
Uh, let me go campfire? No. Cave painting. Oh, it's this thing! Alright, so somebody transforms on the second turn. Should it be the bear? <laughs> wonder how badass the bear would get. They're so expensive, though. Let's, uh, how about the snapper, right? A more powerful snapper would be huge because he's already six. I don't know if there's ever card removal in this game. There's a way out for both of us. Somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I'll tear you to shreds. So again, he's well aware of what's going on. Doesn't care. Now, oh, he's got a grizzly. I think this is one I'm designed to lose. But it's okay. Oh no, it's not okay. This is impossible. Because I've got my squirrels in a bottle, but how do you play them? You need to be able to sacrifice three blood in one turn. But what I can do is put my stoat down over here and then pop a squirrel out and put a wolf down this bear is going to rip him to shreds but but nothing I, I think I just lose here oh oh he cheated he <laughs> cheated chat <laughs> I played the only move that you could play there and survive and he didn't care so he's cheating alright can I do anything no I'm dead eh. interesting Oh, really? Have I lost? Alright. So, I kind of hung out for a little while in the demo. I was like, what, is he going to do something if I just sit here? These fucking games will twist your mind because you never know what little thing is going to trigger the good ending or the right path or whatever. So this is, uh, it's like those old dungeon uh, crawlers, RPGs, you ever play any of those? Oh look, there's nothing in here. That was that was different in the demo. Uh, it's like that. So you can run around his little cabin here and this is a big part. <laughs> He's always just creeping on you with those eyes. This is a big part of the game. You can put that out. I don't know what it does. And there's all these little items and you can touch them but you can't get them out of their little cages. So you've got uh, this knife. Wouldn't you love to have a knife? And uh, he wants us to get the candlestick. You got this safe. Three numbers of a safe. This frame sometimes has cards in it. I don't know what that means. This thing needs a key. The clock I don't, I can't really interact with the clock. It, the time doesn't move, and there are three hands. And I guess this looks kind of like a bear. Or is it a bear? I don't know. And then uh, weapons here on the wall, but they're like locked down. You can't get to them. But you can make them vibrate. And he's just always over there creeping on you with those eyes. Right, so we got to get this candle bring it here and then you put it on the table so 
So he's getting all stern with us. We have two lives. We just lost one. All right. Cards and then campfire or... What is that? All right. I don't know what that is. I think that's an item. What was the campfire last time? Uh, let's go over that. Just let's see what that is. Let's try to learn. We got the adder, the cat, and the snapper. I've already got a snapper. The cat is valuable, but it takes up a space. But with the cat and the stoat, that's a free play every turn. That's. I hope that's not a terrible choice. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. All right. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Choose one. Oh. Cut up one of your cards, huh? Or the good old squirrel in a bottle. I think I'll take the scissors. So that little round thing is items. Oh, this is a boss battle, isn't it? Oh, right, yeah. So I did... Uh, trees seemed to close in around you and chill must mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. Hobbled figures stood in your path. The prospect <laughs> so he he plays every character like this and it's always hilarious <laughs> he's doing the prospector again easy boss the mules the key he didn't tell me that in the demo but the mule is the key and the mule will move so what we want to do is pile damage on that mule and uh the beauty of this is we will have no trouble doing that. Let's get the squirrel out to play the stoat here. And then we can use the stoat to play the cat. See, the mule is going to move. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill it. But I do have a pretty strong position here. Oh, my mouse is going on. I've got a strong position, but I can't play cards. The mule is trapped, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. That, well, I didn't want to really lose that stoat, did I? So now I'm gonna have to take a squirrel Still in a good position, though. One candle. And then, here's the bullshit chat. Here's where you get, <laughs> you get a little bit angry at the game. We have a full row of bullshit. We cannot play cards. And, uh... We got the mule, and now we have an incoming bloodhound. Two, three. 
which will be through that in one turn. So you go for a card here and you get the fucking Grizzly that is not useful. I can pull a squirrel and that just stops it for one turn. I, yeah, but I have to do that because I need him to get another monster out and get through this fucking gold. Because I can't do anything. Just keep squirrel protecting. I'm letting him build a big board up, though. I think this goes bad no matter what. Okay, there we go. Now I got two. Now I gotta take two turns of damage. And then that wolf is coming up. I can't survive this, right? What are you coming at me? It's three. Three will kill me. But if I sacrifice the squirrel, I can't play the wolf next turn. Should have done that three turns ago, huh? Right. Wolf out next turn. In front of that wolf. The mule is forever protected here. This is such horse shit. Alright. Oh, the mule moved. Okay, so get the squirrel out. Damages the creature dies. Gonna take a big chance here, chat. Put the wolf in front of the mule. Here's the pliers. <laughs> if you were wondering, so the pliers, the encyclopedia says, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. So, the scales, you'll notice. What he's putting on the scales are teeth. So that'll keep me alive from the snake. And I, next turn, though, I got nothing but squirrels left. I think I lose either way. damage I can stop one damage oh but I'll move the scales three in my favor here so blocking that wolf is good enough now the pack mule dies Dagnabbit Mamule. Now I can play the Snapper or wait a minute. Let's put the porcupine. Oh, I get two squirrels. Perfect. Maybe I should just go ahead and put... Nah. Let's do the smart play. The skunk will nullify the adder completely. 
and the porcupine will die, but it will stop damage. Oh, I thought he only did one damage. Beautiful. Uh, I guess I'm kind of stuck here, aren't I? And I'm, I'm out of squirrels. I'm out of everything. The battle had taken a toll on you. Your supply of new creatures was exhausted. Starvation began to set in. Oh no, starvation! If a creature would attack a card bearing this sign, it does not. Oh shit! One more turn though, right? Doesn't matter. You're dead. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you're granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. I like <laughs> there's so little explanation for anything here. Do am I picking blindly or can I uncover them? I, Four blood for a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yura Yuli? What is a Yura Yuli? Okay, I get to look at them. A Gek. Now the beauty of that is it doesn't cost anything. Child 13. Poor abandoned child does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? That's kind of brutal. Is that a dragon? A baby dragon? I gotta go with the Gek, right? A no-cost card seems insanely valuable. With the sound of the Prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carry onwards. So this is officially deeper than the demo got and but i was so much further in the meta story in the demo the rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither you trade cautiously into the wetlands so i believe that's telling me that this is a two blood card Whereas this is an unknown card. And then we have an item. The cave painting, which allows me to, or forces me to kill a card and infuse another card. Can I look at my deck? I don't think I can look at my deck anyway. So I've got the skunk, right? Wouldn't it be good to put the skunk, the skunk takes one damage away from the enemy. What if we could put the skunk on the stoat? Let's try that. A beaver constructs dams. That seems terrible. That's going to stop me from playing cards. That's what almost killed me against the prospector. The Adder and the River Snapper. I guess the Beaver is useful defensively, right? I mean, it gives me a, a turn or two to accumulate squirrels. And again, the marker is on one of them, and I don't know what that means. Let's take the Beaver, two blood, but they're all two blood. Oh, we could it could be the beaver that gets sacrificed. Oh, the beaver. Do I want another card to generate 
Damn. No, I think I want another infinite card. That's always useful. Ooh, the... Well, but the get kind of sucks. It would be great to have a wolf out there that I could just tap for blood every turn. It's me. Right. What's he got coming at us? Don't put your creepy hands on the table. That's a bullfrog, a one-two. The stoat is better than that. Now once we get the stoat out, we can get our infinite wolf out next turn. That'll be a fantastic play. Total misplay. He always shits on my plays. I think he just does it no matter what. Or if you put him in danger, he doesn't like it. I think that's what it is. Right, so we definitely want to take a squirrel. What we got coming here? An adder and a coyote. Let's... Uh, uh, Do I want him to just do damage? I'm going to take three damage, but I'm up one. I'll do three here. He'll do three back. I'll do three next turn. Plus, I'll be able to get something in front of the coyote. I think that's the play. Oh, I can already get the beaver out. Oh, the beaver stops this entirely. Formidable defense. Oh, yeah, you've lost, sir. Beautiful. Now that appears to be a bear trap. I would, I would like to avoid that. A tra oh, the right, the trapper. I just totally forgot about this. I'd already done this. Again, he plays the character. Uh, I don't have very many teeth today. I guess. Uh, wait, I have one. Two, I have exactly five. He's gonna give me a rabbit pelt, right? So I could get two rabbit pelts or the wolf pelt. So the way this works is, every one of these that you get, you can trade later on, and the more they cost is the blood cost of the card that you get. So I'll go ahead and take a one and a two. Leaving already? Please consider me pelts. I don't have any money. So I gotta try to make sure I go to the trader. Now, do I want another infusion? I don't think so. I, I don't remember what campfire is, but I'm going to go campfire. Right. So these guys are clearly starving. I don't know if this is a random number generator, but it doesn't matter because there's no option not to do it. But supposedly this will make one of my cards more powerful. What about the Gek? A free 2-1? I like it. Okay, good. Uh, maybe they eat it on some special event. I don't know. So the first play is always done for us, basically. You get the squirrel out. You get the stoat out. Fine. And then the next turn, you get 
That's not the super wolf, but oh, we actually get the super snapper out. That's a lot that's coming at us. The alpha will make the other characters stronger. So we need to set up to get rid of him. He will do one damage. So it's easy to get the snapper in front of him. And then we'll take two, but that's okay because we're ahead by one. Losing the stoat is uh, not good. That gives me no play and that's one away from death there. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to burn a squirrel in a bottle. Oh, I have to draw a card first. I need two squirrels, please. And we definitely want to kill that, and that'll only be one damage by the time it gets here. Oh, the Rattler. Oh, the Rattler. I did not look at the cards that were coming. How disappointing. All right, we got a question mark. Is that a gravestone? Counter a small outpost in the woods tended by a mysterious... Oh, this is the traitor. Okay. Elk is interesting, huh? A 2-4 that moves around. I, I feel I'm bad at predicting. I wonder if an elk fawn becomes an elk. I think that's worth getting, right? Because a one blood that will transform in one turn. I like it. Beehive, a moving beehive for one blood. That's interesting. An infinite warren. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. So a rabbit is just a, another squirrel, essentially, right? So, but then that's an albatross on your board forever because you can't kill it. That raven is pretty fucking powerful. What is this symbol? Oh, dam builder, right? Yeah. <laughs> An adder that builds dams. I think... I'm taking the wolf cub. Because I really like the one cost transformers. But to be perfectly honest, I would like to thin the deck. Is that an item? Item, cave painting, or plus one power for one of my creatures. You know, we've not even seen the Gek. Power up reduces the size of the deck. I like that. So we take the tr moving, transforming power of the elk fawn. And we place that onto the fucking geck. 
Yes. I, I love that. That's such a good card now. Now that appears to be a... Is that a bird? Like a flaming bird? Oh, pardon me for one moment, Chad. I've got my warm drink that I forgot about. Oh, delicious. <clears throat> Alright, I've got a bird totem. That means that all the birds will reduce the power of the creature in front of them. That's four damage if I don't do something about it. Oh, there's a spider. Sir, there's a spider. If I put him out there, he dies. But it gets... It's, it keeps me alive long enough to get the beaver out there next turn, I guess. I could, I could just let the squirrel take the hit. But then I don't get any damage. I need to move the, the scale if I can. Oh, those go underground. Interesting. Well, that's a big problem, right? Because I only have a two blood card. Guess I'll draw a squirrel. Do I lose here? Yep. Time for you to perish. It's like uh, Phasmophobia. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. Why would I do you a favor, considering you've just killed me? Answer me that, sir. I would like a memento. memento. Very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? Yada, yada, yada. So this is the carryover. Here's some cards. Choose a card to be the cost. Obviously, you want the cheaper card. Power and health? <laughs> oh man, the Grizzly. This is going to be a sweet card. A one blood, four six, with a superpower. A transforming one blood, four six. All right, chat. Has anybody subscribed? I don't think so. I think we have an empty pool for uh, names. So you, you know what you do in that case? You give it to Grey Monk. Because Grey Monk donated a game recently. Oh, Taco Pete. It's so slow. Epilepsy morning. Uh, 
And uh, he pretends that I'm a new person, but clearly I'm not. And now we get into bones. He's adding mechanics. So basically, every time something dies, you get a token. And you can spin those tokens. Ooh, a rattler. That rattler is going to tear through whatever I put in front of him. Wait a minute, wasn't my stoat powered up? Oh, this is a new run. Never mind. Oh. I can't take three damage. Sorry, bud. That gets the possum out, which lets me play the wolf. To kill the rattler, and he's got nothing coming. Now he's got another rattler. We can draw a card on that. <clears throat> the bullfrog is not helpful in this situation, and we are going to lose our wolf. But he's right on the edge. Uh, I suppose we just collect squirrels. Oh, I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. And here's where you're like, what, the safe? <laughs> Grab the figurine. Ah, now this has cards in it. I don't know what any of that means. Four bones, six bones, and also four bones. So the cockroach always comes back to your hand, meaning that if you were stocked up on bones, he could be two bloods or you know, two other creatures. It also means you never run out of creatures. You've always got Mr. Cockroach. I'm taking him. If we, if we could power that up. So he's telling me that I can get up and explore at any time. Encouraging me to play the metagame. A black goat. Nice. Make him skip a turn. Ooh, and a boulder. Make him skip a turn is really nice. But the black goat is instant bear, if I could get a bear. I think you gotta take the hourglass. <laughs> so the stoat, he's explaining that I'm doing better than most people. And he also told me that there is a password for the safe in the rule book. So now when you uh, when you look at your cards, well, I don't, oh yeah, if you have a special thing here, you can right click. It brings up the rule book. So one of these, and there it is, has a number on it, two, seven, three. Now, right now, I can't get up because I've got cards in my hand. He won't let me leave. But as soon as I finish this encounter, 273, I got four damage coming in. I have to stop that. Two bones. 
the next turn I kill a squirrel I get the possum He'll kill that thing next turn. No reason to draw squirrels because... Uh, oh, but maybe there is. That squirrel gets the possum out. Which kills both of his guys. But I don't get anything else out of it. Still worth it. Oh, but I can't just sacrifice on command. I need a creature to sacrifice him to. It's still going to accomplish the same thing, just a little bit sloppier. Now we'll take a card. And uh, could sacrifice both of those to play the wolf. He's not playing anything. So that could be... What's the scale at? One against me. He'll do two and I'll do three. Eh. Let's just take the kill, I suppose. On the enemy. On the creature, I mean. Now we can put, we can kill the possum and get the wolf out. Put him in the far lane. Two bones. He's got two hit points. I've got two bones, none of this matters. Bullfrog means nothing to me. Right. Now we'll get up from the table. It goes backwards for some reason. The stink bug. Wasn't sure if I'd ever escape that iron crypt. Is the stoat still around? Is the stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away, says the creepy dude. Also, there was a key, which we have seen the keyhole. Now this puzzle chat, I don't get it. It... It wants balance, obviously. The only thing I can do is move these up and down. But not all of them. I can't move that one. And then there's an extra one up here. So I, I could do that, I guess, but... How do you balance, and what are you trying to balance here? So then you can ring this bell, and it doesn't work. So I suppose the markings mean something. I can't move that one. The monster, or the, what is this? Is that a book? Or the arrow, or the book? Balancing the numbers, yeah, obviously, but how? Balancing them where? Is it all of the plates being the same? Across? So we want the rows to all equal one another. So that would be two, four on that row. The paws should be the same. But you can't move that one. Mm -mm. 
These three are all the same. Look at it like a hand you're playing. So they would bump up against each other and you could never change that. Like moving them around doesn't really matter. Or maybe you have to think about it in terms of order of operation. Oh, I see, I see. So the bottom row is what's in my hand. The top row is his intention. And this one can't be stopped. So I go first. Meaning that kills that. And that kills that and survives that. I win this no matter what. One of those is right. <laughs> okay. Hey, it was that one, right? So we can trial and error this. No, we can't. I do not fucking understand what's going on here. Um, something about this is one point of balance. Five is the number of teeth I need to take away from him, you're saying? So... Right now, I'm hitting him for one. So, okay, let's play the turn. This attacks, hits for one. This come down, hits it for one. These are not played. This does one damage to me, one damage to me, one damage to me. By that, if we're, if we're going by that, this should be four out of five, and it's not. Because, well, no, no, this would kill, this should be four out of five. Hey, so then it needs to be exactly five, and you can't move that one. Uh-huh. Gotcha. So... How is that one of five? Because that kills that. I didn't even consider that I could move one of his over to my side. Worker ant? Formidable creatures, those ants, very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future sounds. You see, he wants me to do this. I'm playing right into his fucking hands here, chat. Two puzzles, eh? Um... Look at that. I understand your game now. The skink. I forgot I'd put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck and I'll deal you one every so often. What is the skink? I don't know what his special power. Oh, look at this. I'll do these all day, brother. So, uh, got to do five damage. What is, what is ant? What is, Okay, well, close. Uh, 
Oh, is it... Do ants do damage per the number of ants that are attacking? Is that... Okay, it lets me do that. That should be... Can I move you down? Yes, that's too much. Uh, hmm. What is ant? Two? Because we have two ants here. So Uh, right. That's the only one that's hitting. That's the that's the thing that's killing me. Third column up, then I'm not hitting at all. I'm doing two. So ant. Oh, that's three ants now, right? That should should be four. Because. One. And then this is two for whatever reason. I don't know. You know what? Let's, uh, we've done enough of that. I should be able to just... Oh, can I click on... No. He lit this candle. Oh, there's a different candle. Uh, before it was that one. Oh, bro, you are so creepy. Did you say it looked like we could wind the clock? I'm clicking every, oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know about that. I'll have to think about that. Let's just play some more of the card game. I, I enjoy the card game. 420? What about the third hand? The Reviled Skunk. Oh, there's Greymonk. Look at that card. What an amazing card. He's so angry. Now we have... Oh, we could make Grey Monk more powerful. I wish I could look at my deck. What other superlatives do we have? Infinite? Or do we even have that? I don't know how many items I have either. Because if I go to the item store, I don't have too many items. I can't take any. And then the campfire. Oh, we could make Grey Monk even more powerful at the campfire. But there's also maybe a chance of losing him at the campfire. Let's do the cave painting. Although for all I know, there's a chance to lose this as well. All right, so. Oh, here we go. Here's the ant explanation. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Okay. This one has a special too. A loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. That's actually really great. One power. Oh! Returns to your hand an unlimited number of gray monks. Oh, chat. Look how powerful this card is. And now I'll never draw it. <laughs> yes. 
You again, indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told him how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. So, yeah, basically those are the wolf. Uh, I'm not seeing the wolf. Okay, the worker ant. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. The table. Does that include the hand? That's not entirely clear. Is this guy free to play? Oh no, he's two bones. Okay, yeah, right. So, uh... That'll be a 1-2, so we should probably just get the 1-3 out there. We got the 1-1 one, one coming down. But uh, the stoat can soak that up. And we can get a squirrel out. What's coming? A 1-2 alpha, which will make that wolf more powerful, but it's okay because he's going to die. So let's go ahead get the worker ant out there that will generate the bones that I needed to get the stink bug on the board and we're, we're feeling good about this one look at this board he is already low on teeth now here you gotta draw a card because the squirrel is no it's of no value the ant is a 1-1 one, one and is not gonna be able to kill that wolf nor is it going to be able to survive the turn so yeah I think this makes sense sometimes that's a tactical reload chat didn't get any overkill though now I don't I can't tell what that is is that a sword I wish I could oh that's how you see the deck chat you zoom you scroll the wheel. Okay, that's... Or you can just press W. Gotcha. You can also look at the board at an angle or overhead. Um, pickaxe? Ah, I was looking at it in the other direction. I think pickaxe is correct. So pickaxe gives us cave painting or item, whereas the trapper... How many teeth do I have? Can I... I don't think I have any teeth. At least not very many. Let's go for the pickaxe. I haven't seen that yet. Hobbled man standing beside some boulders. You caught me off guard. Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Say I like me a gamble. If you can pick up boulder that has a gold in it, you can keep it. Show me where to strike. So this is pure chance. I always go in the middle. Uh, no, right. Golden pelt. I can barely abide giving you. But promise is promise where I'm from. Okay, well that was good. Now we can look at our deck. So cave painting would allow me to... Who could I kill? I could give Grey Monk a tail. But no. I think we'll take an... Oh, I can't see my items either, can I? Oh, there's my teeth. Three teeth. This game is dark as fuck. Let's take the item. Can't take more than three items and you have three. Perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. Oh, it's not a complete waste. Oh, there's a brat. And he's gonna give me the pack rat card. Pack rat, never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. You don't have to tell me that, sir, but I don't understand what the pack rat does. When a card bearing the sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as you have less than three items. Oh, wow. 
that's actually quite valuable. All right, now we got a like a. I think what this is, chat. I think this is a phoenix with fetal alcohol syndrome. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to you, sir. You were saying lucky draw. What's lucky about it? You? The pack rat is too expensive to play. We got moving sparrows. Oh, there's dude, there's this, the spider's back. Bro, That you got to do something about that. Look at the size of that fucking thing. So they'll do one damage, but they'll go over the stoat. Whatever. Just get him out. Bad, but fuck you. Oh, I should have used the item. I should have used the fucking squirrel in the bottle. And immediately gotten another item. I could play the... Oh, I could play... But then I have to sacrifice my boy. Or... Eh, you know what? Let's just go with this. Oh, shit. The sparrow can fly over the tree. So it's just gonna kind of be over there. Making my life miserable. I think... You know, let's go ahead and burn the squirrel. Get the pack right on the board, and then that gives us the bones to play the possum. What do we get? I can't even fucking see that. Is that the boulder in the bottle? Frozen possum. Okay. That's good. Ah, the sparrow does have to fight the tree. Oh, because the tree is a fly defender. Nice. Now, squirrels are of no value to me here. Let's just keep drawing. There's Greymock. Oh, yeah. So we can go ahead and sacrifice the possum. And get this living god onto the board. He just got even better. He goes to a 5-6 on turn 2. That is beautiful. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory. In the flash. So this is the end of the game. But I sure would love to get some overkill. But I can't. One overkill. Now that is a badass card. Now I do have to start thinking about not expanding the deck too much more. Because when you have a fucking god card in it, you want a small deck. Elk fawn, bullfrog, or beehive. When it's attacked, you'll draw a bee. I like that. That's a one blood. And it gives me cheap cards. Do I get another pack right here? <laughs> okay. I, that's we're, we're really filling our deck up here, but all right.
Oh, right, yeah. If you happen to make it to the boss with two lives, he just takes one. Ah, oh, come on. You can't give me fucking Grey Monk on turn one. Now, the smoke is a free blood that also grants uh, bones so you can get your wolf out you could also get an ant queen out what does this do an ant is created in your hand but now I think the wolf Three damage. So I'm two away from the win. He gets the two back. Or he gets two of those back. But then next turn, I'll hit the mule. And I can get the skink out. Plus I got these bones. If it's at all possible to finish this without having the full row of cards that he can take. We got the mole coming out. The skink can finish the coyote. I think that's the way you gotta go. I'd love to get some bone cards. Two more damage on what is this guy's deal when an empty space would be struck a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead so he's just a shield I hope you hope for a bone card here and you get the pack rat Ugh. what's the balance at right now one in my favor so he'll take this three damage though, and the pack mule will take one more damage, and it's stuck in place for the next turn. All right. Oh, the mole! The mole just foiled all of my plans. I'm not in any danger. Plus, I'll add one damage onto him. Let's you just again hope for the bone card. You get it. You get the bone card, and that's it for the mule. Beautiful. Did I like to mention overkill damage? I actually kind of intuited that, sir. Oh, it carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. I actually didn't know that. I thought you were talking about the teeth. That's beautiful. Dag nabbit. Yeah, that wolf is not going to save you. I am sad to say. And... Hmm. I think you hang on to the pack mule. You only need to do... That's only going to do one damage. Ooh, the adder. Or the wolf cub, actually. Well, no, the wolf cub doesn't survive that. But the bat will fly over top of him. Which will do... More than enough damage. The bat costs four bones. Do I have that? No. Oh, you get him. he's making me draw a card. Let's take a squirrel. And then we'll just play the bat anyway. Ooh, what's the bat doing? Oh, it's flying. Ah, uh, that's over, right? And then he'll do his bullshit, and that's why I didn't play the pack rat.
two squirrels. I can get the wolf cub. Well, I can't get anything out. I need to make a play that will kill the wolf. But that, that's the adder. The adder is going to take the wolf. And then we got this bloodhound coming down. So, I wonder how many cards I can hold. We'll just hoard squirrels right now. Okay, now we are open to both of those. The adder takes one. I need to... How the fuck do you click on the hourglass? Oh my god, this camera. Oh, I can't do anything as I'll draw a card. Okay, mm, I'll take this card. Beehive. I want you to skip your turn. Your adversary will entirely skip their next turn. Right, that's what I want. I'll pass my next turn. Good. Then... Gotta get. Oh shit. Squirrel. Squirrel. The adder will take the wolf. But I can't do anything. Oh, I know. Oh, I got another squirrel. So I can. Yeah, I'll get the. If I get the cub out, then the turn skips and the cub hits him for three next turn, right? Look at all these bones. I'm obligated to pass. Yes, you are. And you are done. Let's take... Mm, what do I want to get out? I want to get the pack rat out to get my item back. So let's take a squirrel. I might... I don't want to win before he destroys the gold nuggets. He's not playing anything. Oh, there's Grey Monk. This game's over, right? That's four damage. That's... An exact kill, but instead of an exact kill, let's make a whole bunch of overkill. That was so much easier. Let me relight your candles. Please do. But when you say candles, you mean candle. Because I really didn't need the second one, did I? Actually, I guess if... Second one would have killed me outright. A rare card. I would love a rare card. And I'm going to do it again, chat. I believe in the Gek. I never was able to draw it, but the idea of a free card delights me. After the Howling Encounter of the Prospector, yada yada yada, yeah, onto the Swamplands. Thick with moisture. There's another one that I don't know what it is. Is that something in a, a glass display case or ah, these icons? I gotta get some more beverage. You arrive at the inky black mouth of a cave. I like how he made the cave out of modeling clay as part of the presentation. Pass one of my trials and I'll be yours. Are we talking about a romantic type of situation here? Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. Ooh. But first you will choose a trial. 
Trial of Blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined. Three drawn cards must have at least four attack power. Three drawn cards must have at least six health. I've got more blood costs than attack power, right? I don't know. The wolves satisfy both. But I've also got uh, a fair amount of uh, one blood cards, too. And then the Gek totally skews it downward. I think I gotta go for blood. <laughs> oh, oh it, I got it. Oh, I got it. A mole with toxic power. Isn't that useless? When it damages, it's got zero damage. That's dumb. A bullfrog that gets better. Or a cat that flies. <laughs> a flying cat is fucking useless. Two of these cards are useless. The procedural generation needs a little bit of work in that one. Flash shield, not fly. It doesn't matter. They're both useless. It's got one hit point. Okay, do we want to infuse? <clears throat> what if Grey Monk generated bees? The problem is you're not guaranteed to know which card you can choose, right? Or does it always give you all of them to choose from? Oh, let's fucking try it. I would love to make Grey Monk generate bees. Okay. No. Does he have too many power ups already? How many hit points does the Gek have? I can't look, I can't see all of that card. Oh, that's infuriating. I suppose the Ant Queen has the most hit points, right? I don't I didn't feel good about that one. I don't I guess I got greedy there, but Oh, I didn't know that you could draw those. So you can just put it in the way. Oh, is that is that a free card? We got bees coming at us. Now the bullfrog can block a bee. And he's got two. So this will keep us even on the scales. I don't know if I want to play the pelt yet. I assume that's free. So it seems like we're going to have a lot of small creatures coming at us in this game. Could sacrifice the bullfrog to play the wolf. But I think what I'll do is horde squirrels. Okay, now it's getting a little bit serious. Now we can get our wolf out. Oh, but then there's a... Oh, but that's four damage in one turn. I need to kill a bee. I need to kill a bee and then next turn... I need to... Mm, wow. I guess I have to get the wolf out. Let's go ahead and put the golden pelt down. I don't think that'll stop him, though. 
And I think you gotta go for trying to get control here. Ooh. Pray for bones. Nope. Time for the frozen possum. I don't think that helps, to be honest. The mantis is still going to kill... I suppose I could sacrifice... And can I... The frozen possum can't be sacrificed. Fuck! Okay, th move it three back in my favor. Lose the wolf. And then take two. Oh, does he have a special power? Oh, when you kill that, you get... Oh, man, I should have done that differently. One squirrel does not help me here. You pray for bones again. The Gek. Keeping us alive. I think... Let's get rid of a bee. Whew. Is, am I dead anyway? Yeah, fuck. Yeah, that was, that was some shit draws is what that was. This deck is too big. I don't want any of this trash. We'll take the cat just for sacrificing. Oh, is this removal? I desperately want removal. Right. Oh. No way. Let's get rid of... Uh, what do I always get that's fucking useless? Do I need the... Uh, the bullfrog is a one-coster, but... Do I need two-pack? I don't need two-pack. Oh, shit! That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. No, no, no. Give that back. I don't need two-pack rats. Start each battle with one extra bone. Okay. Well. I guess that's positive. A net positive. Could you for fucking once start me with my end game character? So we can do two they will both die no 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 no. that's not what you do get the squirrel out squirrel summons the frog and the gek balances out the hit point loss bullfrog gets better draw a squirrel Play the skink, clear the board, and gain another point. Beautiful. No need for... We're losing the gek on this turn, but it doesn't matter. A skink and a gek for a wolf, which will end the game. Or, let's see, what's he at? He needs three. Is it three or four to kill him? Because that's the difference. This is three. It would be perfect. All right, well, that, we'll find out. Does he have to get past the last tooth or just to the last tooth? Probably just if this kills him, that's what I'm expecting. If not, I'll get some sweet overkill next turn. 
In fact, that was one more than I needed? Okay, I have no idea what the tooths mean. The tooths? Is that another monster in the cave? Five bones. I cannot win that one. Three sigils. Hmm, unlikely. Four, we gotta go for blood again, right? That's the most likely here. Oh. Yikes. You know what? I don't want another card. I'm fine with that. I have too many items. I will get another pack rat if I go there. So let's make a creature stronger. Heart plus two. Stop this? Who needs heart plus two? It's the Ant Queen, right? Oh no, that's not one damage. Who get? Oh no, but she creates bees. Yeah. So she needs massive health. Even though I've... Have I drawn her yet? One of these days, those guys are going to eat my creature and I'm going to be sad. I don't remember what the phoenix was again. I want to battle. Oh my god. They actually give me Grey Monk on turn one. That's three damage that I don't give a shit about. Because next turn, and I've got, I've got a possum. That is it. Well, look at this. That's what you call an ace, chat. You're not going to comment on that, motherfucker? I just one-turned you. Moose Buck. What does this mean? Look at all this. Is this a broken wrist? River Snapper and the... I definitely don't want a fucking bullfrog. This guy's so expensive, though. At the end of the other's turn, the card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed. So, he's going to move my entire row. I really don't want that card. It's so unpredictable. This one's not even useful for sacrificing, and this ability sucks. I guess I'll take the turtle. cave painting so I could pull yeah yeah I gotta sacrifice the cat and make the geck infinite mm, nice not useful enough maybe the stoat Or a, hmm, a, a different creature giving me... What if the Gek gave treasure for nothing? Yeah. The Gek is now a treasure monster. I like that. And then this is a new kind of boss. I have a feeling this is going to crush me. Foul smell invaded your nostrils, caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. 
pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. The angler. Go fish. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. What even is normal? We got a kingfisher who has an airborne ability. And he is a 1-1. This music is getting serious. We got a 1-3 and a 1-2 with the tail ability. Uh, I guess the stoat is our best play here. It's 11 o'clock. Which fish hard to choose? All right, so the fish hide. Oh, oh, what's happening here? We got a hook on him? What's the hook? Oh, he's gonna hook the my stoat. Well, that should just sacrifice it then, right? I should get the river snapper out. Fresher fish, easy choice. Brother, you don't get either of them. Although you'll just steal that one next turn, won't you? Oh, he's always going to take that one. That was a terrible idea. And continuing to sacrifice would just be stupid. I didn't understand that mechanic at all. Yeah, I'm definitely going to lose this. The balance is already on his side. Got to hope for... Wow. Could Grey Monk save us? goodies do I? I got nothing but this. Okay, well maybe he'll give us something that will save us. Squirrel in a bottle. Okay. So let's play him. Kill the Gek. He'll always pick the new one. And then we pop the squirrel. Oh. Alright, now that's good because the squirrel actually hurts him. One turn until the snapper gets through, but now he's got a useless squirrel sitting out there. So I want him to take squirrels. That's the trick. So that's one damage, which I will immediately answer. Then he steals a squirrel, and then he's only got two lanes to work with. Oh, no. Those are flyers. Did I survive that? No. Right. Those are flyers. I wonder if this means that Grey Monk will no longer be in our runs. Will it now be replaced with this death card? I'm going to miss him. Hmm. 
-hmm. Trying to scroll up to see who subscribed earlier, but oh wait, here it was, here it was, here it was. Taco Pete, of course. Where did I put the camera? Oh, that's my camera now. Did you think I would leave, leave film in there? Do you have any idea what this camera is capable of? Two megapixels. The cost... Mm, two bones is actually a pretty good card, I think. I'm often wishing I could draw bone cards. Power and health. Well, no really, not much of a choice there. I don't like that ant shit. And we'll take, hmm. Transforming is nice, but how does transforming work with ant? Is it ant plus one? Or does just the health go up? The bonus item every time is nice, but this gives me two abilities. Taco Pete. Is that a little bit different? Are you prepared for what lies ahead? To be impaled on the angler's hook like the one who came before? Seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. Didn't you say that last time? Well, I, uh, definitely enjoying this chat. Um, is there any more meta that we can unlock? I can't. How do you interact with this? Corpse maggots? <laughs> what? I don't know. Oh, look. His eyes started glowing. Making slightly different tones. And now the third candle is lit. Maybe I should. Oh, look. Ooh. I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. The smoke. Oh, look at these teeth. Look at this! Hell yeah. I'll steal some teeth. Is that a cat? Look at you, creepy. I wonder if changing this matters. There are distinct areas. There's... Paw Print Islands. Large lake with two small lakes and giant water gash. Let's leave it on giant water gash. Click on everything. I don't really enjoy this part of the games. 
But you know what? It's part of it. I think I need to turn the brightness up. Some stuff down here. Oh, is this all the bosses? So there's the prospector. Is that the angler? What is that? Put them all on 12? No. Well, interesting game for sure. I'll definitely be playing some more of this, but not tonight. Oh, there's my items. Any more clues in the book? What can we do with the hammer? Or whatever this is. Is that a mace? Click on the clock face? Hmm. I think the stoat will have to give me some clues on that one. All right, well, see you later, chat. Check out the demo for this game. It's pretty good. Alter deck? What is this times five? What is this? Last saved four minutes ago? Can I, when I look at my deck here, can't interact. Let's me quit without any sort of metagame nonsense. Oh, it's 11.45. Wow, I've lost track of time there. <laughs>